A fourth term for Viktor Orban, who likes to think of himself as the strong man of Europe. His supporters are elated. Whatever the overall thinking, Hungary's voters have given their leader an overwhelming vote of confidence. We look pretty good. We've never looked as good as tonight. We won a huge victory. It can even be seen from the moon, but in Brussels for sure. That last quip was aimed at the EU. Orban is its biggest critic from within. For the leader of the opposition, Peter Markizai, who had brought together six parties in a united alliance, it was a humiliating loss in his hometown and an overall defeat for his alliance. There is no democracy in Hungary. There's no free and fair elections, regardless of the results. Only weeks ago, opinion polls showed Markizai's opposition gaining support. The war in Ukraine and Orban's close relationship with Russia's President Vladimir Putin appeared to be negative factors. But Orban told voters they were safe with him. He wouldn't get involved in the war. NATO and the EU may be giving military support, but there will be none from Hungary. And so the ornate National Assembly building in Budapest remains dominated by Orban. It stands as a symbol of defiance to the liberal policies of the EU and of Orban's cooperation with Russia and China. For the European Union, I think this will be a very heavy dilemma because if that will be a landslide victory, and apparently it will be a landslide victory, the question uh, may be posed whether the existence of semi-authoritarian member states in the European Union is really just a temporary challenge or that will be the new business as usual. On Monday, a European team of observers will announce whether they view the election as free and fair. In the 2018 poll, they declared it wasn't fair, and that may well be the verdict this time. Opposition parties will have been telling them their problems have included limited access to the media and government-induced bias by the vast majority of news outlets. And so what caused this apparent turnaround in Orban's position? It could be a number of factors, inaccurate opinion polls, Orban claiming that the opposition wanted Hungary to join the war in Ukraine. And perhaps more than any of the others, the fact that so many people wanted a trusted, strong leader at a time of crisis. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Budapest.